the chords of Gojira and Gojira are a French metal band that formed in 1996 and they were originally called Godzilla and then because they had some legal issues I'm guessing the Godzilla people had a problem with the French metal heads using the Godzilla name so they switched it to the Japanese translation which is Gojira so Gojira is basically Godzilla and this band is awesome I've been following them for about 15 years there was a drummer I used to work with um, Alex Morgan actually turned me on to these guys about 15 years ago and I hadn't really heard the link. I didn't really hear, you know, their initial push of music. So I was a little bit late to the party, but as soon as I heard it, I was like, who are these guys? You know, it just caught me. It's very fresh, lots of energy. And of course there's tons of, you know, power chords and these scrape, you know, kind of pick scrapes and harmonic scrapes and, you know, some really brutal stuff going on. But then hiding in the cracks of their music, um, you know, Christian Andrew is their guitarist and he definitely seems fond of these kind of melodic, you know, chord based tapping ideas and they use them for interludes and intros and outros. And it's very, very interesting to find, you know, a metal guitarist that can riff and thrash and all that stuff. But then he also has this kind of, you know, more delicate kind of softer side too, where you hear these little tapped etudes and little pieces. And that's what this lesson's going to focus on. It's all tapping. Gojira's drummer, uh, Mario Duplantier, uh, he's a monster drummer. You know, very impressive. He definitely was like my initial kind of pull or interest in the band. When I heard the drums, I thought, wow, these guys are amazing. And I hadn't even heard a full song. You know, I just heard, you know, him playing. But then Christian is definitely a very interesting guitarist and I kind of picked up, you know, and noticed some of the things and habits that he does. And it's not your normal kind of metal approach. And maybe it's because they're from France or they just have kind of a different, you know, uh, mindset or a different approach to music. But you can definitely hear it's very different, you know, than your average, you know, American rock band or metal band or whatever. But uh, Christian's definitely been around for a while, and I just shared that photo, you know, with him tapping. But here's a photo of him actually getting caught on fire. I guess they had a pyro incident, and, like, his head was caught in the flames. And when I read that story and saw photographs, like actual, you know, footage and, and photos of the incident, I thought, wow, that's the most metal thing I've ever seen. And he's fine. He survived the incident. I guess he finished the set and he was dunking his head in water, like ice water, to cool the burns, which that's metal. I mean, that's, that's extreme metal right there. So this whole lesson is going to be tuned down a whole step and drop D. So it's kind of like drop C. And we'll have a C, G, C, F, A, D for the tuning. And that's kind of Gojira's, you know, kind of standard tuning for their music. And I did um, actually go up a set of strings, too. I used the heavy core uh, strings from Dunlop 11 through 50 just to kind of help me, you know, with this tuning to kind of stabilize, you know, the slacked, you know, tuning or whatever. So if you're kind of new to these drop tunings and you've got a guitar where you can set up, you know, with some heavier strings, I do highly recommend some heavier strings just to help stabilize the tuning. The opening that was born in winter, one of my favorite Gajira songs, and I know when I first heard, you know, that song, I could tell there was something different happening. I didn't actually realize they were tapping at first. And then when I actually sat down and started working with it and I tuned, you know, to this tuning, I discovered, aha, that's what they're doing. And it's basically outlining a chord progression. <laughs> power chords, you're basically implying that with tapping. Right? So there is like a little chord progression happening, you know, in the middle of that right there. And you can see there 
we're mm -hmm. tapping the seventh fret on the D and the low E, and then we're moving from the open strings to the third fret, to the second fret, to the fifth fret. Mm -hmm. third fret and there's kind of a pattern of four like one two three four one two three four and the second time through they add this little extended melody on the top you know something like that guitar part and you're implying all these chords they're definitely implied he's not really strumming you know any of this stuff but uh, when you put all that together it does create that really interesting uh, guitar part <laughs> guilt and there's another kind of implied tapped chord progression something like this <laughs> string right there and we're basically moving between G and D so that's kind of like a G5 implied and then it's gonna move up to where you basically have a B flat and uh, this E flat and that's gonna function as an E flat 5 and then uh, you're moving from this to implied D7. So there's definitely a chord progression hiding, you know, or an implied chord progression. You know, G5, E flat 5, D5 to D7 hiding in the middle of this little part. single string they start double tapping and they're tapping on the D and the low E you know kind of like an octave like this you know really interesting and it fills out that sound too it sounds huge like that We have the song Global Warming and we have the Van Halen triplet tapping, but it doesn't really sound like Van Halen. It has this totally different uh, feel and sound. Something like this. <laughs> basically you know implying this little chord progression uh, G sharp minor and then a G sharp 9 and then there's basically an implied what F minor and then an implied E minor 9 so there's a really interesting you know progression happening there E flat minor 9 by the way 
But uh, it's really interesting to hear that as tapping instead of as chords. But you're doing it this way. So I really like that part, you know, the, the tapping part is separated from the fretted part, you know, there's a big gap between the notes, and I like that, you know, it kind of reminds me of Van Halen a little bit, but it sounds totally different, it doesn't sound like Eddie, it sounds like Gojira. When you start counting that... When it changes, you're going to do that half as much, there's like, a, you know, two sets. Then move to the D string. This, and then you repeat that whole pattern again, so really slow. guitar part and it has that dreamy kind of hypnotic sound which I love that. Up next is the Wild Healer and it has this really quirky rhythm and we're kind of using this open string uh, pull off. Kind of reminds me of Van Halen again but it sounds totally different. It doesn't sound like Van Halen. It just reminds me of Van Halen but it's something like this. <laughs> slowly you can see it's it's interesting because it's it has this really quirky rhythm and it's all that open string and it has this really you know kind of exotic sound it almost reminds me of like a completely different instrument um, but it has that kind of slippery, you know, blurry sound, mainly because it, it just quickly kind of shifts back and forth. You know, between that D and that B note right there. And then change that G note back to an F sharp, so we definitely are implying a chord progression here. That's basically spelling out G major. And then when it changes, basically move into the major 7 right there, that F sharp. So you're really just kind of twisting that chord a little bit, you know, from G major to like an implied G major 7. But once again, um, and then do the exact same thing, but just start playing that F sharp. there the fourth time um, you're gonna grab that C sharp on uh, the change right there and then just basically repeat that whole part again really cool guitar part though right, the last example is from Ouroboros from uh, the way of the flesh album and this is a really cool guitar part something like this <laughs> C major 7 arpeggio. You know, as far as the notes that you hear, you know, being included there. But it is played over like an E minor tonality. So you can think of that kind of like an E minor 6, I guess. As far as the chord, you know, tonality that's coming out right there. It's implied, obviously. Those aren't, you know, full chords. You know, but it's interesting. 
interesting to kind of hear that that uh, kind of collective tonality. You know that kind of thing, um, but it, they're doing it this way. right there where he's basically playing with the sixth and the fifth you know that C and B if we're thinking of E as the root if he's doing it there so it's really interesting you know it, it's there's a melodic you know uh, aspect to it there's a chord progression that's kind of happening that's implied and it's just busy and frantic too which is so cool <laughs> of Gojira and definitely you know I'm excited about the band definitely uh, always have found you know Christian's guitar approach you know really different and kind of interesting and I love the tapped thing you know I mean that extends to people like Michael Hedges and Stanley Jordan Joe Satriani you know there's a lot of players out there that have kind of played these chord you know based or melodic you know tapping ideas and I think Christian kind of falls right in you know with some of those other players where he's definitely developed his own approach and way of doing this. And I think that's so inspiring. So work on these riffs, but then take the ideas and see what you can come up with, you know, of your own design or your own creation, you know, because you never know. You might stumble onto something and write a whole new song based around some of these ideas. So uh, anyway, leave some feedback and some comments. Please subscribe to Learning Lessons, and I'll be back before you know it with more content and material. Thank you.